Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So newsflash, joking, there is a price increase for Chanel for their classic handbags, reissues, and boy bags. I've got uh, confirmed prices for the United States that will go into effect this Saturday, January 20th, 2024, which is probably a day or two after this video goes live. I really don't think people care about these price increase videos anymore, which is why I don't do a lot of them. I mean, the price increases happen every year and the utility of these videos, I feel, is not as important as they were before because it's not like people were racing to buy bags with the current prices and it's not like posting this video is going to save you uh, a whole value because I warned you and you could run to the boutique a day before the price increase to grab that classic flap. And anyway, I mean, sometimes we find that before the increase, all the classic flaps seem to disappear and then reappear <laughs> when the increase happens. But I digress. But rather, this video, we can sit back and just look at the changes um, and just find humor in it all because it really is outrageous. Uh, I don't know, we can share our thoughts at the end, but anyway, I've got confirmed US prices and I've also done some projected prices based on the increase, the percentage increase for Canada. So let's go. Let's start with the cheapest of them all. <laughs> this is the mini square. I haven't seen a lot of these in boutique actually, but the current US price is $4,700 and the confirmed price will be 5260 which is a 12% increase. The current Canadian price is 5950 Canadian dollars and projecting we're going to look at probably 6700 something around that. Uh what you guys should also keep in mind is in the US and Canada we have sales tax. So you would add tax on top of that and our sales tax where I live is 13%. So we would add 13%, but you can estimate sales tax to be anywhere between eight to 15%, <laughs> depending on where you live in the United States and in Canada, um, except for other, you know, other states and other provinces, like Alberta is like 5% and Hawaii is like somewhere around four to 5%. So just, just letting you know that there's just extra on top. Don't forget. The mini rectangle is super popular. I really do enjoy using this size, especially now with a baby. The current US price is 4,900 US dollars and it will be 5,460 confirmed price uh, in two days. <laughs> uh, currently it's 6,200, which I thought was outrageous. And based on this approximate 12% increase. Uh, it looks like we're just hitting uh, 69.50 or 7k. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what the Canadian price will be. But US dollar, what I've been told is confirmed is 54.60. The same can be said about the mini reissue. They're the same price as the mini re rectangle. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, this will go up just like the classics. Now let's move on to the classic double flaps. So the small size, which used to be the cheapest of them all, um, considerably cheaper, but I mean, over the last couple of price increases, they've really uh, faced pretty aggressive increases in comparison to the other bags. So this is uh, about 17% we're looking at. Uh, the current US price is $9,600. And as of January 20th, we're looking at a confirmed increase a uh, price of 11,240 US dollars plus tax. The current Canadian price is 12,275 and looking at about a 17% increase if that takes place here, um, which most likely it, it will, um, we're looking at approximately 14,350 before tax. This kind of makes me feel queasy because my Birkin 30, um, was cheaper than the small classic. So that's putting things in perspective for you. Moving on to the medium classic double flap. This uh, current US price is 10,200. 
the confirmed price as of January 20th is 11,850 US dollars. We're looking at a 16% increase on this one. And the Canadian price currently is 12,800. And if you calculate, we might be looking at 14,850. Um, these prices, uh, when we're comparing with the reissues, the reissues will also be going up uh, just like the classics. So the count, the reissue counterpart uh, to the medium, large, and maxi will also be going up just the same. Okay, moving on to the jumbo classic double flap. These have uh, kind of dwindled in popularity over the last couple of years, but I saw them resurfacing. I've seen a lot of young women wearing them. It could be that they're buying them pre-owned because the prices to buy a pre-owned jumbo um, is quite it's considerably better than if you were to buy a pre-owned mini or small or even medium classic flap. But anyway, uh, current price eleven thousand U.S. dollars. We're going to be looking at a price of twelve thousand seven hundred fifty U.S. dollars on Saturday. This is a sixteen percent increase, and the Canadian price is thirteen thousand eight fifty currently. And if we look at this, uh, we might be hitting sixteen thousand and fifty dollars. Let's just see. The Maxi Classic Double Flap is one of my favorites. I really love the proportions on this one. I'm looking at this price and I'm just like absolutely baffled at how much this is now. But um, yeah, current price $11,580. We're looking at a confirmed price of $13,410 US dollars. Canadian currently is 14650 and based on this 16% increase, it looks like we will be um, looking at 17 grand. 17 grand. Uh, I don't know if that's for sure for Canada, but following these trends, it looks like we're going to be hitting that. That's it for classic double flaps. Uh, like I said, uh, those prices would reflect for the reissue counterparts. So uh, now let's go to the boy bag. The boy bag um, has also dwindled in popularity over the last couple of years, but uh, and, and they haven't faced nearly as aggressive price increases as the classic double flaps. But now looking at these current prices, I'm like, this is considerably more than what they were when I bought mine, but the small, which is really small, uh, current price is 6,100 US dollars and confirmed price for Saturday is 6,900 US dollars. The current Canadian price is 75.75 and based on this 13% increase, we might be hitting 86.50 Canadian before tax. The medium boy, which is the middle size or what was called the old medium, um, is currently 6600 US dollars and the confirmed price for the 20th will be 7400 US dollars and the current Canadian price is 8375 Canadian and based on this 12% increase uh we may be looking at 9380 or somewhere around there this Saturday the large boy bag or what was known as the new medium size uh, remember they had like the maxi size, which was like more square than, and, and it was large. They've phased that out. We don't see that anymore in the boutique. So this is the largest size now, and now they've called it the large. So for a while, the maxi size was that huge one that they don't no longer have was called the large. This was the new medium. The medium that I showed you before was the old medium, and then they had a small. So They've eliminated that confusion. Now this is the largest size. This is the size that I have. This is the one that I bought back in 2015. And um, yeah, so the current price, 7,000 US dollars. And the confirmed price for this Saturday, January 20th, 2024 is 7,900 US dollars. And the current Canadian price is 88.50 Canadian. And based on this 13% increase, we might just be at 10,000 for this. That is insane, absolutely insane. I, I think I paid less than five for mine, but absolutely insane. And with all that said and done, the remaining question is, after every price increase video out there, will you still be buying? What are your thoughts? What do you think is happening? Like, this is absolutely insane. Um, I think it is absolutely 
baffling how the price of a small classic flap is more than what I paid for my Birkin. And of course, MS did have a price increase recently and it wasn't small, it was, it was quite sizable, but still, right? Like Chanel is definitely surpassing the Hermes um, prices. And that just means that, yeah, more people will be leaving Chanel. Hermes boutiques will be packed uh, of people trying to get these bags. And of course, that's a whole other discussion. Um, feel free to leave your comments down below. Uh, but I feel like people just don't care about these bags anymore. At least the trends that I'm seeing online, people are kind of just getting over it. I'm not saying that they're over because it's very different, you know, when somebody who already has a designer handbag will comment on this. I'm sure there are people out there who still have a dream of owning a Chanel handbag. And I've mentioned this point before. For those people, they still would want one, right? But... I'm just talking about that frenzy and that chase that everybody had that seems to be dying down, especially with the current economic climate. And I feel like people are just like priced out um, and there's a lot more awareness on social media, on TikTok, on Instagram of the younger generation who just don't care about these bags and are now um, moving to other brands that are lesser known. So I just think it's really interesting. I'd love to hear your thoughts below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.